In this video, I'm going to show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the exact same locations on Ark Survival Evolved versus Ark Survival Ascended. I chose... No, that's that's not right. Google chose the 10 most popular locations on the map, the island, and those are the ones that we'll be comparing. But before we start, here are some honorable mentions of a few major changes that will definitely take a while to get used to, at least for me. The first one is the subtle yellow tint overall, but especially on rock and sand. It just feels like those old school Mexican movie fillers yeah that and the second one is the grass that is taller than the players now this one was obviously designed by choice it makes the dinosaurs a necessity in order to traverse terrain however i refuse to give up yeah i'm probably gonna die i can't see shit Tell me what you think about these two changes in the comments below. There are many more changes, but let's not waste any more time. Final reminder, the graphics are set to the highest level on both games. The first place we're comparing is none other than Weathertop. Your first adventure likely starts near South Zone 1, where the easy spawn points lie. March up the big hill to Weathertop and set up a cozy base on a cliff facing east. Raptors and Therizinosaurus might pop by, but with stone walls, you'll keep them at bay, all while enjoying a nice view on some flat building terrain. The second comparison is the Hidden Lake. Now this is my personal favorite one. The Hidden Lake isn't just a clever name. Located well out of plain sight, it's a jackpot for those who stumble upon it. On a multiplayer map, be the first one to claim this beauty and you've got a fortress waiting to happen. With cliffs on most sides and only a few entry points, it's a defensible haven with room for an open plan barn system. Just remember, good walls make good neighbors, especially when predators are your neighbors. The third location is the western coast. The western coast is a treasure waiting to be discovered. Sure, there is a line of alphas ready to welcome you and the snow might give you a cold shoulder, but brave it and you've got a postcard view of falls, the ocean, snow and the volcano. Oh, and the Deodons, they are the party crushers here. But find a cliff and you'll have a serene retreat with a view that's second to none. The fourth one is the herbivore island. This one is favorite of many ARC players. Survive the voyage to the Northeast Ocean and you'll be greeted by the peaceful herbivore island. Here, the only sharp teeth you'll see belong to the odd megalodon in the depths. Set up shop against the cliff face near the lagoon or get creative with bridges for a sea pen to house your aquatic tames. At number 5 comes the Southern Jungle. The Southern Jungle is the canvas for the inventive soul. Not flat, but oh, the spots you'll find there? Follow the beach, find the waterfall, dodge the sarcosicus, and climb over rocks to discover waterfalls and pools awaiting for your arrival. Build on stilts, bridge over waters to avoid piranhas, and enjoy the proximity to the red obelisk. At number 6 comes the Eastern Plains. Venture north of the Glen Obelisk, and the Eastern Plains unfold with a sheltered lake nestled between cliffs. It's a quiet place with just the occasional dire bear. And the bonus? It's a haven for equus and other rare herbivores. The staggered cliffs might test your building skills but with the maw and the easter forest nearby resources are just a stroll away at number seven are the southern islets the southern islets are a blend of charm and convenience giant rocks flat spots along the coastline and unique structures await settle near sheltered lagoons that promise easy defense and enjoy the central location rich with metal beaver dams and foliage to keep your herbivores munching happily and number eight is the redwood forest. For the brave of heart, the redwood forest is a woodland wonder. Tree platforms are your key to a treetop realm, away from the ground where the danger lurks. It might be more of a holiday retreat than a barnyard, but the creative soul will find a canvas among the tall trees. Next up at number 9 is the Northeast Cave. Fancy a cave dwelling? Northeast Cave on the edge of the dead island is your underground haven. With natural defenses and protection from the harsh weather, it's a one-room wonder that's spacious for your base building dreams, adorned with nature's own wall decor. And lastly, number 10, Whiteski Peak. For the lovers of cold, Whiteski Peak is a snowy paradise with a view of winter's mouth that will leave you breathless. It's a rough terrain that will challenge your building chops, but the end result? A winter wonderland base with a panoramic view that's nothing short of magical. Keep in mind, those 10 locations were not sorted in any particular order, but now you know how those spots look like on the newly released Ark Survival Ascended compared to our very well known Ark Survival Evolved. What is your favorite base building spot? Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Until then, I'm Damien and I need to go and catch some Z's because it's kind of late.